It's summertime for being outdoors, having campfires, and the best part, roasting marshmallows. It really is just like kind of a rite of passage as you enter summer oh, yeah. and even childhood. It's so many great memories. Well, there is a new kind of marshmallow you might want to toast over the fire. How about this? Spicy hot chocolate marshmallow from the Detroit Marshmallow Company. This is a homegrown business, and you know how we love those, and it features artisan marshmallows. And as our Michelle Oliver shows us, it all started with an idea between a mom and her daughter. The lady making this sweet, sticky treat is Michelle Bazou. She's a mother, a grandmother, and the owner of the Detroit Marshmallow Company. I didn't specifically set out to do marshmallows. They just kind of found me. Before she had this fun and fluff-filled job, she worked as a retail manager, but she never felt like it was the right fit for her. I wanted to be in a position where I had a little more control over my time, as well as my money, as well as my um, creativity. I could create all the time um, and do something with it. So when her daughter moved back from the west side of the state and wanted to open up a candy store, Michelle was on board. And I'm always thinking like, we don't want to do run of the mill penny candy, so let's see what we can find that would be really different. And in trying to find different types of candies that we could make or find to buy, I found that you can make marshmallows. So she started experimenting and found out she really loved making marshmallows. Because I loved it so much from the beginning to the end of the process, I thought, well, maybe I could just do this. <laughs> so as it turned out, we did not open a candy store. We just started a marshmallow business. They called it Sweet Artisan Marshmallows. And unlike the store brands, her fluff is super soft and very different. The store marshmallows are typically made with corn syrup, cornstarch, and blue dye, and also preservatives. Um, our marshmallows are corn free. We make our own marshmallow syrup. Um, we roll our marshmallows in either powdered sugar or cocoa powder or graham crackers, uh, but we don't use any, we don't roll them in cornstarch. Um, additionally, our flavors are natural um, and our colors are natural. Her flavors are also different. Have you ever heard of a limoncello cheesecake marshmallow? Like every time I turn around, I'm like, I can make a marshmallow out of this. What I've noticed with the marshmallows is that every single flavor in there, even if I put four or five flavors in a marshmallow, you can taste them all. So how did the Detroit Marshmallow Company get started? We branched off with the Detroit Marshmallow brand um, because we wanted to make something that we could include a lot of different um, Detroit products in. We call it our crazy little sister brand. They feature well-known local brands such as Fago and Better Made, as well as smaller companies like Atwater Brewery and Sacre Tea. So the, bear, the very biggest seller is Fago Rock and Rye. I suspect because one, it's pink. Two, because it tastes exactly like Rock and Rye, because it is made with Rock and Rye. Um, I think that people, they just, if you like marshmallows, sometimes even if you don't like marshmallows, it's just a really pleasant experience. <laughs> you can find her selling them at a few local markets, and the people love them. They're a lot softer. They don't. The store ones taste pretty plastic, honestly. It tastes like they're packaging, and so these is a nice treat. It's very fluffy and smooth, and it's it's not sticky at all. It, like when you bite inside, the texture is a whole different thing. Yeah. Is it a good difference? It, it's a good different thing. Yeah, I, I want those by the fire. <laughs> in Detroit, I'm Michelle Oliver, live in the D. Because I use blue. We're talking about marshmallows. All right, Michelle joins us now live in studio. Um, this is amazing because you hear when you hear the words, it's nothing like the description. You know what I mean? Like, I mean, yes. these marshmallows are such a treat. I know. I wish I could. What did I just try now during the commercial that break? That was black coffee. Black coffee. So brewed coffee but flavors it's smooth. that. Yeah. It isn't like, um, it doesn't feel like artificially flavored. Right. I wish How I do you make it so homemade tasting? So everything is natural. We don't use, um, typically the stores use uh, blue dye, preservatives, chemicals, and we just use sugar, gelatin, 
go back and to whatever old we use for the flavor. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're gonna make one, right? Yeah, we can make a s'more. And so, so I, I want to try. You said this one. Yeah, I suggest chocolate chai. Okay, well, and well, let's first describe the kinds you oh, brought sure, here. Sure. So, so that's your fancy line, you said. Yes, and I think you should try the limoncello cheesecake. Okay. Um, so this is limoncello cheesecake, pistachio, cherry, cardamom. We start with the cherry cardamom tea, and we roll it in ground pistachios. Wow. And this one is brown butter almond, and that's rolled in almond meal clearly. Um, over here, this is our fancy big sister line. This is our crazy little sister line. Is that and what it, you call it? Yes, I like that. The crazy little sister. So those are all made with a Detroit ingredient. It might be Fago, Better Made, Pete's Chocolate Company, Sakriti, um, Vanilla Java Porter. We have a Vanilla Java Porter with Better Made pretzels. Oh wow! Um, and then our own bourbon barrel vanilla. We make our own vanilla, and that's what this one is. Oh, and Fago Rock and Ryan. Can't forget Ooh, that. Oh, can't forget yeah. that one for sure. <laughs> right. And then these ones over here. And this is our s'more buffet. Um, we do handmade grams, chocolate grams, and shortbreads. So you said grab a sh shortbread. Yeah, we're gonna make I, one. If right? I were you, I would do the shortbread okay. one. Okay. I'm gonna do a graham cracker one. Okay. And um, I'm gonna wait. grab this one because which one is yep, this one? Yep. That's chocolate and that's chai. So I would put both on a oh, stick and then you'll fire them up right here. Yeah. Combine them. Yeah. That's what okay. we do for the s'more buffets. We do like fancy s'mores. And then you have it so like you'll this. you'll toast it. Oh, yep. Neat. And in a, just a second, you'll see it'll start to it'll toast start. up. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep, it'll start to melt, and then you will. Um, let's turn your cracker over. Turn my cracker over. over. Yep. Oh, this way. Yeah. We keep cooking. And then see how it's caramelizing. Mm -hmm. So the one thing you won't find is it's not going to catch on fire like a commercial marshmallow because there's oh, no chemicals it's not to catch turn on all fire. Black. You're right, exactly. That's how always. Yeah, it's was... just caramelizing the sugar is what's happening, and okay. then it'll start to melt, and you can squeeze it in your shortbread. Okay. So well, now you put should it. Should I have another one on top? And then, yep, you'll have another one on top. And okay. we typically do the white chocolate for the um, okay. chocolate chai, and then we just pour it on wow. there, smash oh. it down. Like your regular, oh, oh, oh I I the shortbreads are kind of fragile, okay. but they taste good still. Okay. Now, you're just opening up in what, where? Yes, on we're going to be opening up on the east side of Detroit. Um, we're working, negotiating on a lease for Mac. Okay. Uh, Mac and Cashew area. Can I try this while you're yes, talking? Yes, please do. Um, you did bet. you ever think that you're going to open up a marshmallow place? Never. I um, never had the slightest idea that you could actually mm. make marshmallows. Wow. And when I found out that you could, I just totally fell in love with the process of making it and people trying it and everything about it I love. Well, what's neat about this, you could do, I'm already thinking, like if you had a baby shower, if you had um, a girl's tea, if you're having like even kids, obviously. We do. Like a birthday we party, do. you could always tie this in and try all these different flavors and everyone loves doing the. We actually had it at our wedding. Oh, did you? Yeah, and we have a lot of people ask for okay. s'more buffet at the wedding. So folks okay. want to, we're late, we only have a couple seconds left. Yeah. If they want to track you down, where do they need to find you? They can find the Detroit Marshmallow Company brand at Socrates Detroit, Jermac, um, something in Birmingham, Parker Street Market, and Eli T. Okay, and we'll and make sure we. And shortly at Plum Market. All right. Awesome. Great yeah. idea. Good concept. I love it. All right.